It's morning and Peppa has just woken up in her bedroom. Good morning, bright and shiny sun. Good morning, George. Good morning, Teddy. Hmm. I'm sure Teddy was right here. Uh-oh! Maybe she's downstairs. Good morning, Peppa. Good morning, George. Mummy, have you seen Teddy anywhere? She wasn't there when I woke up this morning. Hmm, I'm sure she's here somewhere, Peppa. Peppa has an idea. I know. Maybe George and I can be detectives. Now we are ready to solve the mystery of the missing Teddy. Well, don't you look clever? Now, if I were a detective, I would look for Teddy's footprints. Look! Teddy prints! This way! Maybe she's in here. Ooh. Any sign of Teddy, George? No! Someone is at the door. Ooh, I wonder who it is. Maybe it's Teddy. It's Susie Sheep and Mummy Sheep. Oh, hello Susie. Hello Peppa. Hello George. I like your hats. We are being detectives. Do you want to play? Ooh, yes please. What mystery are we trying to solve, Peppa? We are trying to find Teddy. She has gone missing, but we are following her Teddy prints. Where could she be? Could she be in here? She's not in here either. Maybe Teddy is hiding in the bathroom. Oh, I give up. Teddy is lost forever. Peppa, George, Susie, come quick. Mummy Pig has found more Teddy prints. Ooh, these prints are leading outside, Peppa. Hmm. Look, they are heading toward our little red car. Teddy, what are you doing in here? That was silly of you to stay in the car, Teddy. The case of the missing Teddy is officially solved. Hooray! 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 Well done, detectives. I bet you have worked up an appetite following all of those clues. How about a snack? Ooh, yes, please. <laughs> The T-Rex came, scaring everyone! Rawr! <laughs> yeah! Dinosaur! Rawr! <laughs> Did you hear that, George? That must be Daddy! Surprise! Surprise! Wow! A house with wheels! <laughs> That's right, it's called a motorhome and we are going to use it to go on a camping adventure. Yeah! yeah! Whee! Whee! This looks like a very fun camping site. Shall we set up our motorhome? Yeah! yeah! Is that a hammock on the roof? Yes, Peppa. Daddy Pig or I can sleep up there. Where will George and I sleep? Let's do a tour of our motor home. Follow me. This is your bedroom. 
Okay, so there's one hammock and two beds. That makes three. But there are four of us. There's not enough space for everybody. Ah, <laughs> well spotted, Peppa. But we haven't finished our tour yet. These benches can be turned into a bed, so there's enough space for everyone to sleep. I love our motorhome. It's magical. <laughs> it is. How about you and George go and play outside while Mummy and I finish setting up? <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, can you please tell us a scary story? Now that it's night time, it will be doubly scary. Well, I've heard that this camping site is home to a very creepy spider. They say he... Whoa! <laughs> oh, seems I'm not very brave when it comes to telling scary stories. <laughs> OK, George, how about you tell us a scary story? Dinosaur! Grrr! I've changed my mind. That's too scary, George. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's enough scary stories for tonight. I know what we could do instead. Some stargazing. Well spotted, George. That's a shooting star. Make a wish. Some of the stars make shapes, like those ones. They look like, well, they look like me. You're right, Peppa. A group of stars that make a shape is called a constellation. Who would like to see the constellations in the sky more clearly? Yes! So you set it up as so <laughs> and peek through this part at the sky. <laughs> ah! Oh my! What is it? <laughs> Silly Daddy, it's only a tiny little spider. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, what do you think George wished for earlier when the shooting star passed by? What was that? Hmm. I think I know what George wished for now. <laughs> Die. So. Do we really need to wear all this sun cream, Mummy? Yes, Peppa. The sun is shining very brightly today. Right. Who's ready to go to the bit? Have you put on your cream, Daddy Pig? Ahem. <clears throat> um. <coughs> well, now I have. It's time for our adventure at the beach. Welcome to your very own castle, Prince George and Princess Peppa. Wow! <laughs> wow! Don't worry, 
George. Sandcastles aren't supposed to last forever. Let's make our own. This smells yummy, Mummy Pig. Thank you. It's so hot today, it feels like we've all been on the barbecue too, Daddy Pig. Oh, don't worry. I have just the thing to help cool us down. Who fancies cooling down in the paddling pool? Me! <laughs> this is so yummy! Ho oh, ho! It certainly is hot! <gasps> Daddy Pig, look at you! You're bright red! Mummy, why do crabs bury themselves under the sand? I imagine it's to keep out of the hot sun, Pepper. Mm. Ah! That's it! Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! Uh, be careful! Oh my, it is rather cool down here. There you go, Daddy. That will keep you cool until we go home. <laughs> Good work, Pepper and George. I'm very proud of you. What an adventure today has been. Oh, I'm stuck. Here it comes. Whee! <laughs> Are we nearly at the petting farm? I can't wait to meet the guinea pigs. Yes, Peppa. Grandpa Pig should be waiting for us outside. But remember, we are going to help Grandpa Pig get the farm ready for the animals first. That's right. Peppa, let's help carry this bag of seeds for the animals' breakfast. Yes, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> this sure is a heavy breakfast. Oh, ho! Thank you for your help bringing the animals food here, everybody. However, the truth is, the heavy rain last night has made the petting farm very muddy. A little too muddy. Where are all of the animals? They cannot come out until the farm has been cleaned, Rebecca. Otherwise, they will get too muddy for petting. Oh, no! How can we help, Grandpa? Well, I'll show you, but it'll be very messy. <laughs> Whoa! work, everyone. Thank you. But, Grandpa, there's still that big pile of mud. We still have time to clean it up, don't we, Mr Pig? Ho, ho. We should do, as long as the animal... <gasps> as long as the animals don't come back just yet. Oh no, the guinea pig will get too muddy for petting at this rate. Wait, Mr. Guinea Pig, please slow down. <laughs> Pe 
Pepper, George, Rebecca, are you okay? Yes, we're okay. That cheeky little guinea pig is so cute. <laughs> he sure is. <laughs> Oh my! <laughs> Silly mummy, it's only chickens. I suppose they are cute, aren't they, Pepper? Okay, everybody. The animals have safely been taken somewhere else whilst we finish cleaning this mud. But how will we do that, Grandpa? It's everywhere. We can use this. <laughs> Great work, everyone! Thank you for your help. The animals are very happy with our work. Now, who would like to feed Mr. Guinea Pig and Mrs. Chicken? Me! Me. Let's put the seeds over here in this trough, Mummy Pig. Then we can feed the animals. Oh, you're all very friendly. I love the petting farm. Today, Mummy and Daddy Pig are taking Pepper and George on an adventure in their brand new motorhome. Wow, this is the biggest, bestest car I have ever seen. Well, Pepper, it's not actually a car. It's a motorhome. I wonder where we should go first. I'm not sure. I suppose we could go anywhere we like. What do you think, George? Mm. Moon! Moon! Three, two, one. <laughs> George, the motorhome isn't a rocket ship. We have to pick somewhere we can drive to. I know. How about we go on a mountain adventure? That's sort of close to the moon. That sounds amazing. I'm going to climb all the way to the top. That's a wonderful idea. Let's go. <gasps> Puddle! George, no! <laughs> oh dear. Well, we can't go on a road trip with all this mud on the motorhome. We won't be able to see where we're going. Daddy and I will get this mess cleaned up and we'll be on our way in no time. Phew! This is a lot bigger than our regular car. I think we might need some extra help from Pepper and George. Good idea. Pepper! George! Hmm, I wonder where they could be. I think they must be playing hide and seek. <laughs> Let's try and find them. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are looking for Pepper and George. They must be around here somewhere. <laughs> that sounded like Pepper. I think it came from over there by the swimming pool. That's strange. I was sure that I heard Pepper's oink over here. <laughs> that was definitely George's oink. I think it came from the kitchen. <laughs> They're not here either. They must be very good at hiding. That was definitely Pepper and George. They must be in the upstairs bedroom. Where could they be? Boo! No! Oh, there you are. <laughs> we fooled you. <laughs> you certainly did. We thought we were never going to find you. Clearing the mud off the motorhome was a lot more work than we thought. Yes. All that work has made me hungry. I know. Maybe George and I could make you a snack before we go on a mountain adventure. That's a wonderful idea. Thank you. 
OK, first we need to stir the cookie mixture. I can do that. Perfect. Now we need to make one cookie for each of us. How many is that, George? One, two, three, four. That's right. One for you, one for Pepper, one for me and one for Daddy Pig. Yum! They look delicious. Can we eat them now, please? Not yet, Pepper. First, we have to bake them. Yummy! They smell scrumptious. Why don't you take them to Daddy Pig? I'm sure he's hungry after cleaning all the mud off the motorhome. <laughs> Look, Daddy, we made cookies. One for each of us. Oh, just what I needed. Puddle! No, George! <gasps> oh dear, now I'm all messy. <laughs> you look like a giant cookie, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are very excited because tonight they are putting on a special music concert for their family. Tonight's the big night. I can't wait to see you and George play your instruments for everyone. How many people are going to be watching? Well, there's Mummy, Grandma and Grandpa and your teacher, Madam Gazelle. Daddy, that sounds like a lot of people. What if I make a mistake and everyone laughs at me? No one's going to laugh at you, Pepper. And besides, you've been practicing really hard. I know, but I don't think I'm ready. Well, why don't we have a dress rehearsal? What's a dress rehearsal? We can pretend we're doing the concert for real, so that when tonight comes, it won't feel so scary. That might work! Everybody ready? Drum, 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 drum! Ready! Okay, let's go! Three, two, one... Very good. I'm sure you'll get a big round of applause at the end. Now we can make the room look like a real concert hall. First, we'll need somewhere for people to sit so they can see you playing. Hmm, how about the sofa? Yes, that'll do nicely. Let's move it in front of the stage. Bouncy drum, bouncy drum, bouncy drum, bouncy! <laughs> Come on, George. I can't move the sofa with you bouncing on it. <laughs> Goodness, it's very heavy. A little to the left. A little to the right. A little more. There, perfect. Phew. Now, we'll need some light so people can see you properly. Hmm, maybe we can use some lamps. That'll look very nice. Can you see me? Yes, Peppa. You look brilliant. I'm going to go and get dressed. The audience will be here soon. This is all very exciting. Yes, the stage looks wonderful. Everybody put your hands together and welcome to the stage, Peppa and George. Ready, Peppa? Ready. Okay. One, two, three. What happened to the lights? I think there must have been a power cut. 
How are we going to play if we can't see? Don't worry, Pepper and George. It was a dark walk over here, so we all brought torches. Wow! This feels just like a real concert now. Ready, everybody? One, two, three. We did it! And I didn't even make one mistake! That was excellent, Pepper and George. Now we have to take a bow. Hooray! It's tasty, isn't it? I wonder if Pepper and Daddy Pig will end up eating it all in their special ice cream truck. <laughs> <laughs> ice cream, ice cream, come and get your yummy ice cream here. Oh, not so fast, Pepper. We need to set up first. flavours of ice cream look so yummy. Oh, they sure do, Peppa. Which one would you like to try before we open up the shop to customers? Strawberry, please. Coming right up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, looks like we have some customers, Peppa. <laughs> Hi, Pepper. Hi, Susie. Hi, Mandy. Hi, Pepper. Could we please have some ice cream? Of course you can. You're our customers, Mandy. <laughs> Why don't you both choose which flavour you like the look of? Ice cream, ice cream. Yes, George, there is lots more. You just need to wait for the ferris wheel to finish spinning. Mm. Thank you, Peppa. Uh-oh. Whoa, it's raining ice cream. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, Pedro. Don't worry, Mrs. Pig. I love chocolate ice cream. Mmm. It's okay, I'm all clean now. Good. Why don't you come with me and George to our ice cream truck? A whole truck filled with ice cream. Yes, please. Peppa, I didn't know you had an ice cream truck. Yes, Pedro, and the ice cream is delicious. Ho oh, ho, George, would you like to serve our next customer? George? Yeah! <laughs> and now you can give the cone to the customer, George. Ice cream! Ice cream! <laughs> oh! Oh, Pedro, I'm sorry. George loves ice cream too much to be an ice cream seller. Hey! I have an idea, Pedro. I care Oh, my goodness. What an excellent idea, Pepper. This will test all of our ice cream making skills. Pedro, hold on one moment, please. OK, Pepper. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, that's the biggest ice cream I've ever seen. It's going to get as tall as the ferris wheel. 17, 18, 19, 20. Phew! I can't believe it! A 20 scoop ice cream! I don't think I'm ever going to be able to finish this. Ice cream, ice cream! 
worry, Pedro. I know somebody who would be very happy to help. <laughs> Look at me! Wow, Susie! Three, two, one... Splash! Did you see the big splash? That was an impressive jump, Susie! Wow, Susie! That was great! Thanks, Peppa! What's wrong, Peppa? I thought you liked coming to the swimming pool. I do, but I want to dive like Susie and make big splashes. But you can. The diving board, it's too high and scary. Hmm, I think I know something that might help you. Mummy, what's that storybook? Oh, Peppa, this is not just any storybook. This is a magical story. Ooh, magical? That's right. What's it about? Well, it's a book about a very, very magical piggy and a very magical pool. Please, will you read it to me, Mummy? Of course. Ahem. <clears throat> this is a story about the magical pool. Once upon a time, there was a very magical pool. The magical pool was watched over by a princess pig who would sing to the water to keep its magic glowing. La, 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 la. Um, Mummy, could the princess pig be giant? <laughs> I... <clears throat> yes, Peppa, of course, why not? The giant princess pig kept singing her magical songs to the water. But then something happened. The water disappeared. Oh no, that's not a nice story. Don't worry, Peppa, it's not finished yet. The princess tried to bring the water back with her singing, but her magic powers didn't work in this way. <sighs> the princess had to find water from somewhere. But where will she find water from, Mummy? I don't know, Peppa. There's lots of water here. If only we could give the princess some. But how could we do that, Mummy? It would be difficult. But if someone could make a big splash, that might be enough to reach the princess. Oh, I can do it. I can make a big splash. Are you sure, Peppa? Yes, I'll make the biggest splash ever and help the princess. Ooh, it's very high. You can do it, Peppa. Yay, Peppa. Three, two, one. The magic pool was full again, and the princess was happy she could sing to it. The end. Did you enjoy that, Peppa? 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 Up here, Mummy! These balloons are sweeping me off my feet. <laughs> I just know all of the children are going to love these. Let's tie them up here ready for the morning. Right class, who's ready for our very exciting adventure to the balloon park? Excellent! Follow me! <laughs> Dinosaur! Whee! Oh, hello there! Hello, 
Madam Gazelle. Hello, children. Mrs. Pig, look at me. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Very cool, Gerald. <clears throat> Could I speak to you about something? The balloons have gone where? Oh no! What's wrong, Madam Gazelle? Oh, um, well... Mummy Pig and I had brought a bunch of balloons here for you to play with, but they seem to have flown away. Oh no! But wait! Look over there! There's a balloon! I bet there are balloons loose all around here. Why don't we try to find them all, Madam Gazelle? Oh, you children always impress me. What a wonderful idea. Let's call it Project Balloon Bonanza. Hooray! <laughs> Look up there, it's a balloon. Good spot, Rebecca. Children, do you think you have what it takes to reach it? Yay! <laughs> Just need to untie it. See a balloon anywhere. Balloon! George, maybe if you swung on the swing it would free the balloon. a fantastic job finding the balloons. You should all be very proud. But it was so much fun. We got to see all the attractions in the balloon park. Ooh, what's this attraction? This is the balloon ride. Now that we found all the balloons, it's time for the real balloon bonanza to start. Pepper, you look sad. I am a bit, Madam Gazelle. I wish it was snowing so we could build a snowman. Yeah. And we could all do snow angels. Oh, that would be so much yeah. fun. Would you all like a snowy day then? Oh, yes. yes! Yeah! But Madam Gazelle, it's not snowing outside. Correct, Peppa. It's not snowing outside, but we can make it snow inside. Inside? 
It can't snow inside, Madam Gazelle. Oh, yes, it can. I want you all to imagine it's snowing in the classroom. You must focus. Are you doing it? Snowing! See what we can do with our imagination? Let's make snowballs! Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Let's make snow angels! Yay! <laughs> Let's make a snowman! Yay! 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 <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Look, Madam Gazelle! We made a snowman! Madam Gazelle? Where's Madame Gazelle? Hmm. Oh, sorry, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> Excellent imagination and artwork, children. <laughs> did you have a good day at school today, Peppa? What did you do? Oh, yes, Daddy. It was a great day at school. We played in the snow. Oh, the snow? Oh, what a wonderful imagination you have, Peppa. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> oh, Teddy, it's Christmas Eve. I'm too excited to sleep. <sighs> oh, Peppa, what are you still doing awake? It's Christmas tomorrow. I know, Daddy, but I'm too excited to sleep. <laughs> you too, George. Hmm, it sounds like you both need a relaxing Christmas bedtime story. Yes, please, Daddy. What would you like it to be about, Peppa? I like stories about nurses, Daddy. I always play nurses with Susie. Aha, Twas the boo-boo before Christmas. Teddy was feeling sad. They had fallen over and hurt their little paw. But Nurse Pepper and Nurse Susie were there and they would make sure that Teddy was feeling better and could have the best sleep ever. There, there, Teddy. You're looking better already. Nurse Susie knew what would cheer Teddy up. Some music! Snow, 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 we snow on a winter day. Are you feeling better, Teddy? <laughs> Let's check your little paw, Teddy. Look at that, Teddy. You're all better. And do you know what day it is tomorrow? Teddy didn't know it was Christmas tomorrow. <laughs> Teddy, it's Christmas tomorrow. Look at all the snow. <laughs> Teddy finally understood. She was feeling so much better thanks to Nurse Pepper and Nurse Susie. <laughs> and George, of course. Now, Teddy, Christmas will come sooner if you get a good night's sleep. That's right. I think it's time for us all to go to sleep. Ho oh, ho! So, what did you think? Oh! I suppose it worked. See you tomorrow, little piggies. Hello, Susie. Hello, Gerald. Hello, Rebecca. 
Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Who wants to play a game of hide and seek? Yay! OK, everybody hide and Mummy Pig and I will come and find you. Ready? One, two, three, four. Ready or not, here we come. We've got five little ones to find, so we better get started. <laughs> Where did that noise come from? <laughs> there it is again. <laughs> Gerald, <laughs> you're a bit too tall to hide in there. Oops. <laughs> Five minus one is four. Four little ones to find. <laughs> I think I see Rebecca. <laughs> Oh, silly me. It's just a picture. <laughs> Did I just hear a little giggle? <laughs> yes, I definitely heard a little giggle. <laughs> there you are, Rebecca. That's two down and three to go. Whee! <laughs> I wonder if someone's in the motorhome. Hmm, where could those noises be coming from? Oh, no one in here. Are they in the bedroom? Oh. Nope, not there either. How about the bathroom? Nothing. Where could that squeaking noise be coming from? <laughs> oh. <laughs> George, I found you. <laughs> That's three down and two to go. Did I just see someone go down the pole? Susie Sheep, there you are. Found me. <laughs> There's five little ones. We found four of them, so that just leaves one. Peppa. Yippee! Where could she be? Keep an eye out for clues, Detective Pig. Oh. Look, muddy footprints. I know someone who loves splashing around in muddy puddles. Come on, team. Let's all follow the footprints and see if we can find Pepper together. <laughs> we see you, Pepper. <laughs> found me. We found them all. And what better way to celebrate than jumping in a great big muddy puddle? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Somebody's at the door! It must be the postman! The postman? The postman! Maybe it's a parcel full of surprises. <laughs> it is a parcel. Oh, <laughs> what a big parcel. Can you see who it's for? Dear Pepper and George, from Granny and Grandpa Pig. Oh, can we open it, Daddy? Of course you can. <laughs> it's a box of paints and paintbrushes. Wow! Imagine what we could paint with this. Mmm, <laughs> cheddar, my favourite. Well, while you three have fun with your new paint kit, I'm going to go and water the petunias. Hum de dum de dum dum. I'm so excited to. Wait a second. Where did the paints go? Uh-oh! 
That's not good. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Mandy. Oh, goody, my parcel arrived. Hello, Grandpa Pig. <laughs> What's wrong, Peppa? You seem worried. Oh, oh dear. The house is covered in paint. Don't panic, I'm sure the paint will wash off. Hooray! Hooray! We need some soapy water, some sponges, and we need to get this paint off before Mummy and Daddy Pig see it. Here we are. Super soapy water and super spongy sponges. There's just one more thing. We need some clean-up music. <laughs> it's my favourite song. <laughs> Silly Grandpa. Let's get cleaning. I've seen the house so clean. You can hardly tell it was covered head to toe in paint. In what? Nothing. <sighs> I'm sleepy. Me too. I think it's time for a good night's sleep. Come on, Mandy. I'll take you home. <sighs> bye bye, Mandy. Bye bye, Peppa. I'll put the little ones to bed. Good night, Peppa. Good night, Grandpa. Thanks for the surprise parcel. Oh, that reminds me. I've got one last surprise for you. If you count these sheep, you'll fall straight to sleep. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Mademoiselle. Today is a very special day because we're going to be learning all about dinosaurs. Yay! My brother George loves dinosaurs. Who here can tell me something about dinosaurs? They've got big, stompy feet. Very good, Pepper. Anyone else? They have big, swooshy tails. Yes, Daddy. The Diplodocus has a tail that's 15 meters long. I love the Dimbledogus. Ooh, they have really loud roars. Roar! And great big teeth for munching. Well, I'm very impressed. You all clearly know a lot about dinosaurs, which is a good thing, as today you're going to be making your very own dinosaur model. Hooray! You can all use the crafting supplies from the cupboard. Let's get to work! Ooh. I'm going to make the big, stompy feet. Dinosaurs like muddy puddles too. <laughs> this can be the body, a spotty body. These can be the claws. Roar! Watch out for the swishy, swashy tail. It needs big eyes so it can see all its dinosaur friends and big teeth so it can smile at them. Done! 
Wow, it's not like any dinosaur I've ever heard of. It's much, much better. I'm awarding this dinosaur first prize. Yay! You know what that means. Home time. Mummy, Daddy, can I show George the dinosaur we made? Of course you can. <gasps> dinosaur. <laughs> George, I hear you're quite the dinosaur expert. What do you think of our model? It's a silly Billy Saurus. <laughs> <laughs> What a great idea, George. We can make it a moving dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> Oop. I think someone's hungry. Me. Let's see. <gasps> no food. No food. Oh dear. Well, I guess we'll have to go on an adventure to the supermarket. Hooray! <laughs> Okay, Pepper and George, I've got a fun supermarket challenge for you both to do. I love a challenge! Here's a shopping list. If you can find everything on this list, you'll win a special prize. How exciting! Come on, George, let's go. I can give you a ride in the trolley. <coughs> <laughs> First on the list, carrots. Can you see carrots anywhere, George? There they are. Well done, George. Now to put them in the trolley. <laughs> I think you might need to get out and walk, George. <laughs> Okay, what's next? Bread and cheese. Hmm, if I was a piece of cheese, where would I be? There, I found it. But wait, there's no bread and cheese here. Wow, secret bread and cheese. This really is an adventure. Next on the list, cornflakes. There they are. George, could you get a box of cornflakes, please? Oh. <gasps> <gasps> Silly George. We better put all these boxes back straight away. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> Perfect! Next we need ice cream! Yummy, yummy, yummy! This way, George! Perfect! Almost done, George! Just a few more things to get! Everything, George. Let's go and find Mummy and Daddy. Is it me, or did it suddenly get chilly in here? We're back, we're back. We found everything, Mummy, even the ice cream. <sighs> did you remember to close the freezer door? Uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> Whoops. Well done. 
but the challenge isn't over yet. First, we've got to buy everything. And then we've got to get them all home. <laughs> and finally, we need to put them all away. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Well done! You completed the challenge! And now for your special prize! With all these yummy ingredients I can make chocolate chip cookies! Who wants freshly baked cho- later then oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what are you doing daddy well I'm pretending to be a penguin of course a penguin why because we're all going off on an adventure to the aquarium yay <laughs> <laughs> Tickets, please. Oh, sorry. Five tickets. All right, in we go. Look, Daddy, it's the penguin. <gasps> Let's see how it's really done. Cuddling together like that, Mummy. They do it to stay warm, Peppa. Oh, like this? Oh, ho, ho, exactly. Hang on a moment. Where's George? <laughs> Can I have a go? Can I have a go? It does look like fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, lots to see. Come on, Pepper. Come on, George. Look at all the fishies in the tank. I can swim just like them. What is it, George? What's wrong? Oh, no. You've lost your dinosaur toy. Well, don't worry, George. We'll find it. It can't have gone far. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry. It's only me. <laughs> I thought you were shark, Mummy. Well, your dinosaur isn't over here, George. Maybe you dropped it in the fish tank. Dinosaurs have eight tentacles. Do dinosaurs look like horses? Are dinosaurs star shaped? Hmm, then I don't think it's here. Look, the penguins are acting awfully strangely. It looks like they found something unusual. Unusual? <gasps> I know! It's George's dinosaur toy! We found it! Hooray! Thanks, Penguin. Although I think your waddling needs a little work. <laughs> <laughs> off on an adventure.
adventure to the petting farm. Come on, everyone. <laughs> chickens! And what noise do chickens make, Pepper? Baka! 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 Moo! <laughs> no, George, that's a cow. Mickey! Mickey! It's Mrs. Chicken. She doesn't look very well. I think you're right, Peppa. We should take her to the vets right away. Follow me, Mrs. Chicken. <laughs> okay. Let's see what's wrong with you. Do you have a temperature? <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, you're quite warm. And now you're covered in red spots. Uh-oh. I wonder if we have anything to cure red spots. Ah, now you're covered in green spots too. I think you might be turning into an alien. Hmm, this is very strange. I've never seen a chicken with spots. Great idea, George. There's sure to be something in the first aid bag. Aha! Is this the right medicine, Mummy? Perfect. And well done for checking with me first, Pepper. Here you are, Mrs Chicken. Done, Pepper. You're a natural vet. Why don't we see if any of the other animals need some help? Hello, Mr. Turtle. What seems to be the problem? You've got a rumbly tummy. Let's have a look to see what's wrong. Turn on the x ray. <laughs> You've got a ladybug in your tummy. Whoops, silly me, false alarm. <laughs> I think you're just hungry, Mr. Turtle. And you look hungry too, Goldie. Bon appetit. Well, Peppa, what a marvellous job you've done. You've sorted Mr. Turtle's tummy ache, you've fed Goldie, and you cured Mrs. Chicken of her spots. Uh oh! Is Mrs. Chicken sick again? <laughs> Silly George! <laughs> That's funny. Susie was making that exact same noise at playgroup. Achoo! Seems like you've got a case of the Achoo! Sneezes. Oh dear. Achoo! It seems like we've all got a case of the Achoo! We better go home right away. Now, we'll all need to stay at home until the sneezes stop. That's right. We don't want to give them to anyone else. Does that mean I can't go to playgroup? I'm afraid so, Peppa. Not until you stop sneezing. I've stopped. <gasps> Achoo! 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 Now, it's important to keep good hygiene. That means lots of hand washing with lots of soap. Achoo. Okay, Daddy. Achoo. Daddy said to add lots of soap. Perfect. How's the hand washing going in here? Oh, good grief. I think that's a bit too much soap, Peppa. Sorry, Daddy. <laughs> I like your beard. Ho, <laughs> ho, We need to eat and drink lots of yummy, healthy foods when we're sick. 
Who wants one of Mummy's special hot ginger honey and lemon teas? Me, me, me! Me, me, me! OK, well, I'll need your help to make it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Healthy drinks for three sick piggies. <laughs> Don't forget me. Oh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> Mummy, can I play with Rebecca Rabbit now? <laughs> hmm. Not in person, I'm afraid, Peppa. You've still got the sneezes. Although. Peppa! <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca! <laughs> I thought we could play some games together. Yay! How about hide and seek? OK, you count to ten and we'll hide. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not? There you are, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> there you are, George. <laughs> OK, Peppa. Time to get a good night's sleep. It's important to get lots of rest when you've got the sneezes. Uh, 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 OK, Daddy. Bye, Rebecca. Bye, Peppa. <sighs> night, night, Daddy. <laughs> night, night, Peppa. Uh, I'm not sneezing. I'm all better. Hooray! <laughs> Mummy, Daddy, I've not got the sneezes anymore. I can go to playgroup. Let's go, let's go, let's go! That's wonderful, Peppa. But today is Saturday. Whoops! <laughs> 8 45. Oh dear, we're late. Late? Late? We can't be late. Come on, everyone, let's go. What bad luck! The car's broken down. Oh no! Not to worry. Let's see if Grandpa Pig can help us with his boat. Grandpa, Grandpa, I need to get to play school, but the car's broken down. Can you help us? My, my. Say no more, Peppa. Jump aboard, everyone. Life vests on and we're on our way. Whee! That's a jolly strong wind. Hold tight, everyone. Whoa. Where are we? I can't see playgroup anywhere. Hmm. We've been blown out to sea by a very strong wind. Good thing I've got my compass. What's a compass? It tells you which way is north, east, west and south. So we can use it to find our way back to shore. Hooray! Look, there's a train station. Off the boat, everyone. We'll take the train to playgroup. Thanks, Grandpa Pig. Any time. Good luck, everyone. You, we can still get to playgroup in time. <laughs> Mummy, what are all these clouds? I thought clouds lived in the sky. It's steam, Pepper. The train uses the power of steam to move forwards. Whee! We have now arrived at our one and only stop, the airport. The airport? That's not playgroup. Uh-oh, we must have got on the wrong train. Oh, hello, Peppa. What brings you to the airport? Miss Rabbit, can you help us? We're trying to get to playgroup, but we keep getting lost. Oh, dear. Well, of course. 
Hop in the plane and I'll make a special flight. Yay! Seatbelts on and we're ready for takeoff. Wow! It looks amazing from up here. The view is quite spectacular from 33,000 feet. Hooray! You're a lifesaver. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Many times. Hooray! We're just in time. Rebecca, where are you going? It's the end of the day. We're going home. End of the day? Oh no, we missed the whole day of playgroup. Oh, I'm sorry we're so late. We had a broken down car, a storm. Oh, it was quite the kerfuffle. What did we miss? Not to worry, not to worry. Today we were learning all about vehicles. Vehicles? Oh, you mean like boats sailing through the sea with their compasses and steam-powered trains and planes flying high at 33,000 feet? Wow, Peppa, that's very impressive knowledge. I guess our little adventure was quite educational after all. It was so much fun. Mummy, can we get a hot air balloon back home? <laughs> <laughs> Sparkling clean. Mummy, can we go and paddle in the sea? Hmm, have you got your armbands? Check. Sun cream. <laughs> Check. Okay, but don't go out further than the boy. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Look, George, a shiny shell. And slimy seaweed. Grrr. And a seaweed monster. <laughs> Slippery, sloppery pebbles. Hmm, we can use these to decorate a sand castle. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of sand castle should we make, George? <gasps> dinosaur. <laughs> okay, let's make a sand dinosaur. <laughs> it's the Sandosaurus Rex. Grrr. <laughs> Oh dear, don't worry George, we can turn it into something new, like a pig! <laughs> oh no, not again! Hmm, why don't you build it further inland, far away from the sea? Good idea, Mummy! <laughs> There, there's no way that will get destroyed by the sea. But it might get destroyed by the rain. Quickly, we need to get everything into the camper van. Can we take our sand castle, Mummy? I'm afraid not, Peppa. But don't worry, I've got a great idea. Now hurry along into the camper van. <laughs> Ta-da! You can make your sand castle indoors. Wow! This is amazing, Mummy. We can make anything with this sand. Anyone want a sand milkshake? <laughs> <laughs> you can't do a barbecue indoors. Oh, really? Peppa, you clever little pig. 
Oh, and you, George. What a scrumptious feast. Bon appétit. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, can we take the canoe down to the lake? Please, please. What a fun idea. Why don't we all go down for a boat trip? Yay! 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 I'll join you all later once I've finished making the fire. Oof! I know these woods like the back of my paw. Follow me, everyone. <laughs> We should have reached the lake a long time ago. <laughs> hmm, maybe I don't know the back of my paw very well. Uh-oh, are we lost? Where have they got to? Uh, oh. oh no, that's not good. We're lost, we're lost. What are we gonna do, Mr. Wolf? Well, um, we can use the sun. The lake is to the east of the campsite. The sun is setting in the west, so it must be that way. There must be something I can do to help find them. If I fly that kite high up into the air, they might see it and find their way back to camp. No wind. Ooh, there's some. Oh no, this is no good. This is the same map as before. We're going round in circles. Look, a little ducky. Maybe it's on its way to the lake. Worth a shot, don't you think, Mr. Wolf? I suppose so. Follow me every, ah, uh, I mean, follow the duck. Hmm, maybe if I make some loud noises, they can hear where I am. Ah uh, ah uh, That's a very small lake. Uh, Eek! A wolf! Don't worry, not all wolves are scary. Oh dear, what am I going to do? The fire! Of course! I'll light the fire and send a smoke signal up into the sky. Look everyone, there's smoke in the sky. Daddy must have lit the fire. Hooray, we're saved. Well done, Pepper. Everyone follow that smoke. <laughs> <laughs> You're back, yippee. We followed your smoke signals, Daddy. That's some fine wilderness thinking there, Daddy Pig. Oh, it was nothing. So, what do you say we finally go on that canoe trip, eh? Um, where is the canoe? Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm the Marshmallow Monster. Rawr! <gasps> Careful, Peppa. There might be real marshmallow monsters out in the woods tonight. Real marshmallow monsters? That's right, Peppa. Are you ready for a spooky story? Yay! Okay, here goes. Every night, the marshmallow monster comes out of its marshmallow cave with a very rumbly tummy. It pokes its big fluffy nose into the air and looks out for the smell of marshmallows cooking on a campfire. And when it finds it, it runs in and steals all of the marshmallows for itself. Eek! <laughs> okay, my turn, my turn. There 
once was a teeny weeny tiny pig that lived in the forest. It was a very special teeny weeny tiny pig because every time the moon was full, it turned into a giant pig with tennis rackets for ears. Oh no, the giant tennis racketed pig. Whoa! <laughs> okay, everyone, my turn. This is a story that will chill you right to your toes. In the middle of the night, if you listen very carefully, you can hear all sorts of noises in the woods. Creepy crawlies, hooting owls, and the loudest creature of them all, the Abominable Snowman! <gasps> abominable Snowman? Ho oh, ho ho, gotcha! Okay, okay, over to you, George. Wait, where is George? And where is Mummy Pig? George! George! Where are you? Where are you? George, come out, George! Come out, George! <coughs> Now's not the time for sound effects, Daddy! That's not a sound effect! <coughs> oh my! A monster! <coughs> <coughs> It was just George. <laughs> well done, George. I think that was the scariest one of all. <laughs> Indeed. Now what say we make some more choco mallow berry skewers? Good idea, Daddy. Oh. Uh. <gasps> Where have all the marshmallows gone? <gasps> the, the marshmallow, marshmallow monster. monster. Today, Mummy Pig is doing a big spring clean of the kitchen. <laughs> one sponge, one brew, I'm ready for the big clean. Dinosaur! <laughs> <laughs> I can't play with you right now, George. Sorry. We'll play with George, Mummy. It just rained and there are muddy puddles to jump in outside. Okay, Pepper, but don't forget to wear your boots. Boots! <laughs> and please take off your muddy boots when you come back inside. <laughs> Uh-oh! Maybe we should go inside before it starts to rain too much. Good idea! Let's play hide and seek around the house. But not in the kitchen, to let Mummy clean. <laughs> Who wants to count? <laughs> OK, George, count to ten. <laughs> oh. That was quick, George. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Those over there aren't my footprints. You're so good, George! Oh no! Mummy isn't going to be very happy! What are we going to do? Mummy is using the broom and sponge in the kitchen and we need to clean this mess quickly before she notices! <laughs> Maybe we can find other things to clean with around the house! Good idea, Susie! Let's look in Mummy and Daddy's bedroom! <laughs> it looks like they're going to need a little bit of help. <laughs> oh. uh. All right, George. You wait for us here while we clean the muddy footprints around the house. Ah! 
now, we just need to clean the bedroom and we will be all done. <laughs>